Yay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this wonderful live. I am Cindy Busby, and I'm so excited to share with you um, about my new movie called A White Water Romance, premiering this Saturday, May 11th, 8, 7 Central, only on the Hallmark Channel. And um, it's going to be so much fun. I can't wait to give you a little bit more information about this really fun, adventurous movie. So Hallmark sent me some questions, and I cannot wait to answer them. So let's get started. All right. Here we go. My character, Maya, is an executive at a tech company and has been invited to a corporate retreat. Ooh, sounds fancy. Tell us more about her stay and why it's important for Maya to make a good impression at the event. Well, it's really important for Maya to make a good impression at uh, this retreat because her company that she works for, Vesta, is vying for this new contract um, called the Highlight Reel, which is a new program that they're developing. And this is like a really big deal. And um, she thinks that she's been invited to this retreat um, to, to find, to kind of compete with some um, other colleagues of hers on who's going to win this infamous contract. Um, so it's really important for her uh, <laughs> to make a good impression. She has no idea what she's getting herself into. Uh, it is really um, unexpected for her. And, uh, and of course, it wouldn't be an amazing Hallmark movie without some uh, trials and tribulations along the way. Oh, and maybe some love. Okay. Um, okay, number two, Maya meets Matt, who is a lead at another office and automatically views him as competition. Uh, can I share more about our character's first encounter in the woods? Okay, so Maya, first of all, arrives a little bit late to the retreat because she gets a little bit lost. Um, and when she arrives, she's immediately thrown into a cat and mouse game. Um, led by Allegra Adams, which is the the president of Vesta, and so she's given this uh, <laughs> she's given this uh, thing that she has to thrust herself into, and so she's in the woods and she's kind of scared and she doesn't know what's going on, and then she hears a noise and she thinks it might maybe be a bear, and then who could it be but Matt? And he misleads her, and that, from that moment on. She's a little bit suspicious of this mat, and you might be too. Stay tuned. All right, number three, Matt and Maya are paired up together to participate in a variety of different challenges. How does becoming a team change their point of view of each other? Um, well, of course, by spending a little bit more time together, Matt and Maya really discover that although they kind of have this like cat and mouse competition thing going on right now, um, they recognize that they have a little bit more in common than they thought. And they get closer, they spend more time together, and they get to know each other. And um, and Maya just realizes that maybe he's not the person that she thought he was. And um, she decides that maybe she's not going to kind of, you know, get intel on all of the the uh, fellow workers like she said she would and relay the information to her boss Marilyn so that um that puts her in a bit of a tricky situation because she wants to have you know she wants to have this contract but she also doesn't want to ruin things with Matt because it turns out he's a great guy Stay tuned. Uh, okay, number four. My character encounters situations that's outside of her comfort zone. We've all been there. Tell us more how Matt helps Maya grow during her journey at the retreat. Well, honestly, Matt just helps her conquer her fears and he um, gives her the space to really um, to <clears throat> to try things that she wouldn't normally try. And he encourages her and he believes in her. And that is a really beautiful thing. And, you know, having someone by your side when you're doing something difficult is a really um, beautiful thing. And, uh, you know, whether you do it perfectly or not, it's really about the people in your life. And Matt ends up kind of being one of those people. So, um, so that's, that's how he does. He, he encourages her to conquer her fears because guess what? Matt has some too. 
All right, number five. Not only do I star, that's me, in a whitewater romance, but I played a creative hand behind the camera. Can I share my experience of being executive producer for the movie? First of all, I'm very excited to have been an executive producer on this movie. I'm super grateful to those who allowed for me to um, have this experience. And, you know, much like what I typically do on any set, which is give so much of myself and really care about the project and the integrity of the project and making sure, you know, everything is in place. Um, but really I have to hand it to all the other creatives that really did most of the work. And I just kind of showed up and, and did my actor thing and just made sure that, you know, all the ducks were in order. And, um, but really I had a very small hand in it all. And, uh, and I'm just grateful to have been able to, to, um, have a little bit of an experience behind the camera, um, as my first time. So Thank you for that. And I can't wait to see my name under that title. How fancy. Um, okay, number six. We are so close to being done. How does this go so fast? Okay, there are a lot of fun moments as Matt helps Maya become more comfortable in nature. Do I have a memorable scene that I enjoyed filming the most? You know, the movie is called A Whitewater Romance, and it wouldn't be called that if there wasn't some whitewater rafting. Um, so I got to tell you, that was such an incredible day. The temperature was stunning. It was beautiful. It was warm, and the water was cold, so that made an, an impact on us. Um, but it was my first time ever whitewater rafting, and I am so grateful that I was given the opportunity because... Um, it was just so much fun all day on the boat, on the water, and I did it and I was a little bit nervous and I kind of conquered a fear, which is huge. So um, that was really special. And, uh, and we also have an egg scene in the movie, which I'm not going to give too much away, but it's pretty funny. And my co-star, Ben Hollingsworth, the, the one and only, which a lot of you have seen us in A Godwin Christmas. Um, he was so funny. He kept like launching the eggs and he thought he would think that he like grabbed a real one, but it was a fake one. And so it would like just break into pieces. And then a couple of times he was supposed to grab a fake one, but he grabbed the real one and make a mess. So it was really funny. And I really enjoyed playing um, that egg scene because it was kind of silly. And there's a lot of like fun uh, competitive games throughout the movie. And, uh, and I think that's, what's really fun about it. It kind of reminds you of, of kind of like camp, you know, being a kid and being outdoors and playing games with your friends. And, and that's what I really love about this movie too, is the ensemble cast, which is a huge thing. And everyone is such an integral part of the movie. It's not just about me. It's about their, their characters and how they help Maya along the way as well. So stay tuned for some really incredible actors in this movie. Um, all right, number seven, we're almost there. Maya and Matt's skills are put to the test as they partake in team building exercises. From zip lining to whitewater rafting, do I have a favorite challenge? Um, so zip lining was a little bit difficult for me because I'm scared of heights. <laughs> so I did have an incredible stunt double for the really scary stuff, which is my one of my best friends, Lisa Chandler, who is an incredible stunt woman extraordinaire. So she made me look really good. Um, but yeah, again, the whitewater rafting, like I can't, I can't, and, and uh, what else did we, oh, we also had a really fun fishing scene, which was really cute. I mean, I can't even give it all away because I got to leave something for you guys to look forward to, but don't, don't worry. There's going to be so many fun activities um, and you're really going to love it. And of course, campfires, cause you know, we're outdoors. All right, last question. We're there. Number eight, the scenery is a big highlight in the movie as Maya explores new places. Tell us about some of the filming locations I visited while on set. This movie is, I mean, the main character is the scenery. It was shot um, primarily in Squamish, British Columbia, which is halfway from Vancouver to Whistler. It is absolutely like, such beautiful country. We had beautiful weather. Uh, the water is just crystal clear, you know, and, uh, and there was even salmon 
around where we were. And it was just, yeah, the scenery is just, is just absolutely impeccable. And uh, that kind of really steals the show. So <laughs> it's nature, me, Ben Hollingsworth, and all of the other cast and crew. Um, that's, that's really the star of the show. All right. It wouldn't be a Hallmark uh, Facebook Live without without Suze making an appearance. She wanted to say hello. Suze, say hi. <laughs> All right, Suze, we're going to do a rapid fire game. Are you ready? Let's do this. All right, let's go. Zip lining or whitewater rafting? I'm going to go with whitewater rafting because like I mentioned, zip lining is scary because of heights for me. All right. Grilling hamburgers or roasting s'mores. Suze is going to say s'mores. I'm going to say hamburgers. Uh, retreat or resort. Quite frankly, I don't really know what the difference is, but I'm going to go with resort on this one. And so is Suze. Uh, watch a meteor shower or go for a hike. I'm going to say a meteor shower because honestly, I don't think I've ever seen one. Um, and then last but not least, go camping or visit a city. Oh gosh. You know, I live in a city, so I'm going to say go camping because that's doesn't happen often enough for me. And I absolutely love being in nature, as you can tell, because I do a lot of nature movies. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's just so incredible being a one with nature and being grounded and, uh, being around animals and all that good stuff. I feel incredibly lucky and grateful to, be able to make such a fun movie for you all. So um, again, thank you so much for being here. This is, I'm just so grateful to all of you for your constant love and support and for watching my movie, which is premiering this coming Saturday, May 11th, 8, 7 central on the Hallmark Channel, starring myself, Benjamin Hollingsworth, Heather Dorkson, Kate Twa, William DeVry, Edwin Perez, Alicia Marie Ahmed. I just needed to say everyone's name. And of course, directed by the one and only Jason Bork. Thank you so much for um, watching and be sure to tweet along with us um, and tweet with the hashtag a whitewater romance premiering once again this Saturday, May 11th, 8, 7 central. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I'll see you next time.